Now let's take a look at the demand side of the economy. The PPF looked only at the supply side. Now we're going to be taking a look at the limits of consumption. In lim consumption is going to be limited by the total amount of income, the value of the production that the economy produces. So the consumption possibility frontier is going to be based on the value of domestically produced goods. We're going to take the amount that's produced and evaluate it at different prices to give the national income, the GNP. In autarky, the prices are going to be based on the purely domestic economy. How much you can afford is going to be based on what your domestic uh, prices are. Once you open up to international trade, your consumption possibility frontier, your national income, your GNP, is going to be based on world prices because those are the prices with which consumers and producers make decisions. So we can depict the consumption possibility frontier as related to national income, which is equal to the value of the goods that are produced, both X and Y in the economy. So that gives us the total amount of national income. And we can rearrange this in a way that's analogous to the Ricardian model unemployment or employment line, which gave us the PPF. So we can divide through by the price of Y uh, across the equation. And then price of Y will uh, cancel out on, on the right-hand side. And so what we have here is an equation that can be used to depict national income on a graph. Now, one thing in, a, in an autarky situation, the amount that you consume, Xc, must be equal to the amount that's produced, Xp, analogously for the, uh, the, the Y sector. So when we have this autarky situation, we can then take a look at the national income line as representing, over on the left, the total amount of Y that could be consumed if all national income was spent on good Y. That's national income divided by PY. Px over Py, the familiar relative price, is the trade-off in consumption between buying good X or good Y. It's the relative cost, if you will, the opportunity cost in consumption. If I buy good X, I give up the opportunity to buy instead good Y. Of course, we can graph this just like we could with the with the employment condition, let's assume first that 5y and 5x are produced to meet domestic consumption needs. We then evaluate that production at the prices that are relevant in the economy. A very important point to make is that this national income line is exactly the same as the PPF in autarky in this Ricardian model. What you can afford to consume in autarky is exactly equal to your production possibilities. It's the only place that you can get the goods is from a domestic source. That national income line will then be depicted and please remember this, by a line that goes through the production point whose slope is the relative prices that are relevant in the economy.